This means tangent. The negatives don't cancel. So we have a negative and a positive, so we actually get negative rad 3 over 3. For cotangent, we get negative rad 3. Secant is a positive 2 rad 3 over 3. And cosecant is still just negative 2. Okay, hey, theta is 305. Ooh, that's an ugly one to work with too. Let's use 300 instead. Okay, theta is 300. We realize that when theta is 300, you know what, let's mix this up. We, let's actually use 315. Theta is 315, sine is a negative rad 2 over 2, cosine is rad 2 over 2. So we get sine is a negative rad 2 over 2, cosine is rad 2 over 2. Then tangent is negative rad 2 over 2, well, it's actually going to reduce down to 1, but in this case, it's a negative one because sine and cosine are the same value, but it is negative, whereas cosine is positive. That means cotangent is also negative one. Secant is going to be two over rad two, which becomes just rad two. And then sine is going to be a negative rad 2. Lastly, let's look at 6 pi. If we have 6 pi, we are going three full rotations, which puts us over in the 3 o'clock position, where cosine is 1 and sine is 0. That means tangent which is sine over cosine is 0 over 1, which is 0. Cotangent is 1 over 0, which is undefined. Secant is 1 over 1, which is 1. And cosecant is 1 over 0, which is, again, undefined. Okay, hopefully this made sense. Uh, definitely for my class, I will ask you values that you should know from your unit circle. If for whatever reason I have one that you don't know, you honestly just use your calculator. Go ahead, just plug in sine of three o 305 if that had been 305 degrees. Plug in cosine of 305 and use those numbers to figure out the rest of your values. So we can try one of those real quick. Let's go ahead and work with that 305 degrees. Using your calculator, you should find that sine of 305 degrees, and yes, you do need to make sure that your calculator is now in degree mode, is negative 0 0.1819. The reciprocal of that, which is our cosecant value, so we do 1 over negative 0 0.819 is negative 1.221. Cosine of 305, we just plug this into our calculator. We get 0 0.574. The reciprocal of that, which gives us our secant value, is 1.743. Tangent of 305, again, just use your calculator, is negative 1.43 or 428. And the reciprocal of that, which is cotangent, ends up being negative 0 0.7.